Hi everyone! In this video we are going to tell you about the artificial intelligence in the Hello Neighbor game. Few words about the game. There is a place house and the neighbors one across the road. The neighbor's house is full of secrets and mysteries, where the stranger thing is mysterious basement door. The player's goal is to uncover all the secrets and find out what the neighbor is. Hi everyone! In this video we are going to tell you about the artificial intelligence in the Hello Neighbor game. Few words about the game. There is a player's house and the neighbor's one across the road. The neighbor's house is full of secrets and mysteries, where the stranger thing is mysterious basement door. The player's goal is to uncover all the secrets and find out what the neighbor is hiding behind his door. The neighbor's goal is to prevent him from doing that. This is how it looks in the game. Let's see now how the neighbor looks like and what he does to puzzle the player. The neighbor has got three modes – Idle – this is the rest mode, Hunt – the mode when he's looking for the player, and Attack mode – when the neighbor is chasing the player. Idle mode is switched to Hunt by Stimuli. Besides, there is also Offline mode when the neighbor is set in traps. Let's talk about each mode in detail. In the idle mode, the neighbor is living his ordinary life. He sleeps, eats, swims, watches TV, waters flowers, cleans his house, does his morning exercises, etc. In a hunt mode, the neighbor is searching for the player. When a player is in the neighbor's house, he changes the interior scene. For instance, the player can move an item or drop it with a bank. The neighbor monitors such changes, analyzes them and comes to a conclusion that there is someone in his house. Then he switches to hunt mode. Everything like in the real life. The shy and calmer you behave in someone's house, the fewer chances you have to be napped. So, how does the neighbor behave in a hunt mode? It's very easy. There are some important spots in the house, and the neighbor estimates probability of the player's presence in these spots. Let's talk about it later. Crucially, the neighbor never knows exactly where the player is. He just knows the most favorite places of the player in his house. It means that if you once hide yourself in the wardrobe, the neighbor will not probably find you there. But if you continue doing that, he'll start finding you there more and more often. It makes the gameplay more interesting, as if you are hiding yourself from a human being. Now we are going to speak about the attack mode. In this mode, the neighbor is pursuing the player to catch him. We are working on making the chasing more interesting. Maybe the neighbor will understand where the play is running to and will try to head him off. Or he may block all the doors cut in the player's path and will easily catch him. At the current state, the neighbor chases the player and throws various items at him, trying to stop him. It's terrible! The player has almost no chances to overplay the neighbor in this mode. What he can do is just running back to his house and hiding himself chicken out under the blanket. Let's move on to the offline mode. In this mode, the neighbor is set in traps. What he can do is to hang a watching camera or a pail of water above the door, set traps, prop up the door with a chair or nail up windows. Later on, the player sees that the neighbor knows his most favorite places in the house and sets traps there. In case the player uses several routes in the house, the neighbor manages to set traps almost everywhere. So you may have a question, how does he manage to determine your most probable path? It's all about so-called key spots. The neighbor analyzes how often the player comes to a specific place in the house and figures out such key zones where the player may probably come. 
There are two types of key spots, those connected with objects and those connected with the player's route. The first ones are used by the neighbor to analyze how often the player uses this or that door or how often he hides himself in the wardrobe, for example. These spots are connected with the objects and never shifted. The second type of spot is connected with the player's route. They depend on the player's movement pattern. Their mount and place vary over time. When it comes to setting traps, the neighbor determines how often the player used to come to these spots and set the traps there. For example, if this is a door, he may prop it up or hang a pail of water above it. If the spot is not connected with an object, the neighbor can set there a trap or observe it through a watching camera. This is how our artificial intelligence works. Thanks for watching.